What's up, everyone? We're going to be playing something a little different today. I, uh, I have a little fascination with dungeon crawler games. Um, I haven't played a lot of the popular ones like Binding of Isaac and so on and so forth. I've played a lot of the free ones just because I haven't really wanted to spend any money. Underminer is pretty much like a... Well, by the way, we're playing Underminer. Um, this game is like a Binding of Isaac clone, but free? So, I really can't argue with it. Um, just to explain a little bit of what I'm doing, because I've been playing this game for a bit now, but I've been hesitant whether I want to use it for content or anything like that, but it's a pretty fun game, so I decided why not. But just to give you, like, a little rundown, on the bottom right, you'll see the little map. Um, I'm fighting through the first level of dungeons right now, so... As we go deeper and deeper, well, as we get deeper into the dungeon, we will start to fight uh, harder enemies. I haven't gotten too far into this myself. I think last night I just got to uh, the second dungeon. So, like I said, I haven't really been playing very long. But on the bottom right, you'll see the map and you'll see all the different rooms and stuff. And the top right, you'll see my keys, the gold that I can use to buy things from the shop that'll pop up in the mines. Uh, as well as back in the main lobby. Um, you'll see I have bombs and I also have a little bird that follows me around. He picks up gold and stuff for me. And he, that's all the bird really does. The bird really doesn't do much. Top left, you'll see my health. Um, I think you start off with like 200 health, maybe like 150. I'm not really sure. And you also have potions. You'll see that under my, uh, under my character's uh, picture. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, we have a little swing attack. We have we can throw our pickaxe. Got a decent range on it. We also can move around while it's in the air and it'll follow us. Um, trying to think, is there any other special things? There's also runes in this game. Um, you get them in the dungeons and they'll give you like certain power-ups or certain skills. Oh, see, look at that. Oh, so those little green things will steal my gold, by the way. They don't ever hurt me. They just will steal the gold. Oh, here's a potion right here, and I can't even get it. But yeah, we're going to see if we can actually get to the second dungeon in this episode. Deal and take more damage. I'll pick it up. I don't, I don't think I'll end up using it. Yeah, pretty much, it's your standard dungeon crawler. You know, you get gold and upgrade your stuff, so you can go into the mine and get a little further. So, you know, your basic... Uh, dungeon crawler esque game. It's pretty simple at its base, but I like it. I love dungeon crawler games. It's a nice, like, little way to chill out and relax after playing COD for so long. This is usually what I go play after playing Call of Duty anyway, so. I just wasn't feeling Call of Duty today, so I decided to just play something a little more. a little less stressful. I really didn't feel like, uh,. Going off today in COD. Ooh. Yeah, this game's pretty simple. I highly recommend if you have Xbox, uh, it's free with the Game Pass. I don't know how much this game costs without Game Pass, probably like 20 bucks. Um, but yeah, anybody who has Game Pass out there for the Xbox, I mean, it's free, so why not try it out if you have it? I've been having a lot of fun with it myself, and if you like dungeon crawler games, and free dungeon crawler games at that. I highly recommend picking this one up and trying it out for yourself. Because like I said, it's not too complex. Um, but then again, I'm not that far into it. So I really couldn't tell you. Um, I do know I got to the second level of dungeons yesterday and it got pretty hard. <laughs> it got really hard actually. Oh, so here's one of the rooms. What is this one? I've never seen this one. Sustain yourself through adventure. Huh? Totem depicting an ancient god of life and the natural order. That looks like a fat lady. I'm not gonna lie to you. Never seen that before, though. Oh, you can also jump. I don't know if I mentioned that. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I've never seen that rune before. That's pretty sick. No, you can hit them if they pick up your gold. Ah, uh, you got a big piece. Oh, no. Okay. Ah, oh, that's super tragic. 
I lost a good bit of gold right there. Oh yeah, I've been saving up my gold for a salt shaker, because if you get a salt shaker, you can, uh, your food it gives you more health, so that's kind of what I'm saving my money for right now. Um, going through the dungeons, that's mostly what I've been having issues with, it's just my health, because you don't find a lot of health just laying around throughout the dungeons, so you gotta kind of be very, uh, you gotta be very, uh, smart about what, you know, what damage you're willing to take, because there's also, like, little... This game has is so intricate. You know, I say it's simple, but there's a lot to it. Um, there's rooms where you can like pay health to get certain things, which is pretty cool. I mean, I like it's not just completely one-dimensional. Is he gonna? I hate these lurker things. Ah. Oh, in the bottom right, whenever I'm fighting an enemy, you'll see their health pop up as well. I had to pay for an item just to see that, which is kind of lame, but whatever. I don't know. I hate these things that actually shoot stuff at me. There's also a pressure plate right behind my character. If I hit that, it'll set off a trap. Yep. It's super obnoxious. I hate the ones with traps. Um, do I want this? Oh no, I have to trade. So this pedestal right here, I can put a, a relic here and come back to it in like a different playthrough and pick it up, but I have to trade one and only have one relic, and I kind of want to keep it. Purple fire. So the ones with the purple fire actually uh, usually has loot in, loot in them. Like I said, I haven't been playing this game very long, but I've kind of picked up on certain things that goes on in the game. Oh, we have four bombs. Gonna have to play this a little interesting here. I mean, we have some room to play with. Oh, well... Get in this chest. Oh, also to open chests, usually they don't require keys. So, oh look, we got a piece of food. Health isn't really an issue this game. This relic I found is pretty awesome. I gotta say, I've never seen it before. That's why I like this game so much, just because it's simple. But I'm finding oh, no. I'm finding new stuff every time I play. Oh, so on the far right, if you see the little twinkle right here. Usually this means there's like a hidden tunnel, so if you drop a bomb, yeah, that was correct. Oh, okay, okay. You gotta be careful when you're jumping, because if you do land in the fire, you will, uh, you will die. Or not die, you will explode. Cursed? Oh no. Drop a random chest? Can I just, can I just use that? Nice. Oh no, these things are gonna steal some of this gold. There's no way they're not. Get out of here. Okay, you can have that. You can have that. Drop some useful things. Um, I will take all that. Even though I can't use the food right now. Do I have any more bombs? Drop one right here. What is that? I've never seen a lot of this stuff I'm seeing, but deal more swing damage. Okay, that's super sick. Coat your weapon with poison. Sure. Um, that's a temporary item. So if you get any temporary items, you'll see in the bottom left corner, which shows all of my relics. Um, there's a little... It's kind of grayed out, and then you'll see a little timer going out behind it. Uh, I did just use the last bomb for that. Ooh, what is that? Increase gold income. Okay. This is awesome. And I got a bag of bombs. So that we can also get in this chest. This is working out great. This is probably one of my best runs I've ever had. And it's trapped. Oh, that's awesome. This is probably one of the best runs I've ever had. Although I am cursed. What are all these curses on me? I don't even know how to look at the curses. Um, What's going on? Chests are trapped more often. Reduce shop items. Lose more gold on death. Killing enemies destroys a relic. Wait, killing enemies destroys a relic? Aww. Those are terrible curses. Okay, I say this is my best run, but that's super tragic. Oh, well, at least we don't really. So, if we hit this dude, he's gonna run, and he's gonna run right into the hole. Yep. Easy. These dudes are usually a pain to deal with, so it's just easier to do that rather than actually trying to fight them. Oh no. Oh god. This 
place is a death trap. I have no idea how to pick out those um, those mines. Is that gonna load up? Yep. Didn't even have to do it. Hopefully, uh, killing these dudes doesn't um, take away some of my good relics. I don't know. It's so at the top uh, left, you'll see like the little. You'll see all of my curses. And it's counting up. I don't exactly know what that means. If anyone actually plays this game, please let me know. Because I'm pretty clueless at this point in this game. Because, like I said, I'm pretty new to it anyway. One of our curses is reduced shop items. So we're just going to go in here and see what relic we have. So if you look at the bottom right on the map, I'll make it bigger for you. See those, the little pedestal with the blue blue thing sitting on it? That's usually, that. that's where um, the relics are. Return damage, but amplified. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah, we're not even going to waste a key to go to the store because it has got reduced items. There's probably nothing there we want anyway. I think I'm full health, so. I haven't seen too many of the really good items. Like I said, I'm only on the first level of, the, or the second level of the dungeon. I've beaten, like, the first boss, which was just a, uh, the first boss was just like a centipede. Nothing too special. I mean, the, the actual fight itself wasn't even that great, to be honest. I mean, it was fun, but it was just, it was a little too easy. But I understand, it's the first, uh, it was the first dungeon, so I'm not going to do it too much. Oh, man. That was tough, I didn't even know what was going on right there. That was awful. Oh, and we got another little secret passageway right here. Make the map a little smaller, I don't need it that big. Anything of use? There's nothing in here. I can blow up that minecart right here, but I don't really think it's worth it. There's probably nothing there. Pick up another bomb. Oh, look at this. Chest room. Oh, so those... A lot of the enemies do very unique things. So, like, the little black bob that, blob that was right here, like, has oil on it. And if, you, if it catches on fire, it'll, like... Uh, make this whole spot catch on fire. So it's pretty neat. And if it lands in the water, it'll like clear itself or just turn into a water blob again. Oh no. They're stealing so much of my gold. Oh no. No, nah, I got you though. Oh, that's so tragic. They stole so much of that. Well, at least we can go to the store for free this time. It said it has reduced items. So there's one item. Bombs kill kills permanently increase bomb damage. I don't I don't use bombs to kill anyway. Yeah, I don't really even use the bombs to kill any uh, uh, enemies, so I have seven bombs, so that's crazy. I have so many. We're not even gonna buy that item, it's it's not really that worth. Usually in the store there's three items, but like I said, the curse um kinda screwed me over. I don't know if the curse is ever gonna go away. Like I said, I usually don't end up with curses, so this is going to be interesting to play with. Oh no, he actually hit me. I could be jumping, I'm, I don't know why I'm not. Oh, there's a relic in here, I have one key. Okay, well let's go to this lady first. So this lady usually, yeah, she'll do like games and stuff for us. A chest game? 800 gold to open three chests. 800 gold to open three chests. I don't think that's worth. Uh, I want to do it, but it's not 800 gold. That that just doesn't seem worth. That's a lot. Oh well, you can have that. Oh, I'll spend my last key to see what this is. What is this? Increases damage when killing. Does this replace anything? No. I'm seeing so many relics I've never seen before. And I've I've played through this uh I've went through this dungeon like so many times. Like I said, I just got to the second uh the second dungeon, so sweet. Do I really there's no point in getting a bomb for a bomb. Um yeah, we might as well get out of here. 
I think the next, yeah, Goldmon 4 is where the boss was. So let's see. I don't think we have to fight the boss again. I think once you beat it once, you can just go on to the next, uh, the next set of dungeons, dungeon level two or whatever, gold mine or whatever. I don't, I don't, I forgot what it, they called it. It had a, it had a different name. Level up. Oh, so your little companion, your little bird, can also level up. I don't exactly know what that does. Oh, we got the store right away. Let's see what the store has to offer. I mean, it's only one item. Remove a cart. Ooh. Let's let's buy that one actually. Can I pick which one? I don't know which one I don't know which one I got rid of. Chester trapped, reduce shop. Yeah, I don't know which uh which curse I got rid of. I got rid of one of them. We're gonna go left first just because there's no rooms connected to it. Ah, uh, see, here's one of those levers I was talking about, uh, where you can uh, spin health to get certain things. I don't know what this one's going to drop. Oh, I didn't mean to grab that. Oh, it would be 15 health for 65 gold. Not really worth. And it just goes up exponentially. Not exponentially, it just goes up as you uh, turn the level lever more. I just don't... It's never worth it because health is so hard to come by in the dungeon, so I don't really think using that is worth it until I get a higher level and have the health to spend. Uh, <laughs> uh, having holes around is so funny. Also, I have to keep a lookout for the little glints in the side of the dungeons. Be careful not to pull it. Oh. Um, yeah, that little spike will... Uh, do a lot of damage to me if I hit it, so let's not do that. We have a passage blocked all the way. Oh, come on! Oh, we have a lot of traps. Oh, spiders. The spiders look so derpy. They jump on you, so yeah, let's just get rid of those real fast. I hate the spiders. I'll just let my bird get... S yeah, the bird will get the gold for you. Just really slowly, so... I'll let the bird get the ones that are, like... Conda in really rough situ er, spots. Oh, the bat. The bat. I hate the bat. So, I've only seen the bat in, um... In the second layer of dungeons. Yeah, it shoots those little sonar missiles at me. Anything in here of use? No secret passageway, so you can blow these little things up, and sometimes they have stuff in them, but most of the time it's really not worth. So let's see. I hate that you have to like actually clear out every room before uh, the doors open. I don't want to miss any of this gold, though. We've got another relic. Do we have a key? Yeah, we have a key. I mean, we have a lot of. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's spin the key. Why not? Ooh, what is this? I've never seen this before. Increase attack damage and speed. Wow, I'm seeing so many things I've never seen before. This is awesome. This is, like I said, this is like my best run ever. I've never seen some of these items. Oh. Come on, man. Yep, there he goes. So that bottom room is where the boss would be, but we already have the key. Yep, and it's already open for us. Like I said, we've already beaten that uh, first boss, which is kind of sad. I wish, really wish I would have been recording that, but I did it last night. Oh, uh, look at the door. That's so sick. That's so sick. All right, let's go. Oh, this is the, the devil's shop or whatever. Shao Ghoul. Opulent demon. Ah, a creature that has stabbed in the forbidden. How does it taste, mortal? Do your lips crave another bite of the fruit? I'm sure you will find something to satiate yourself here. 
What is this? Gain two points of armor. Armor increases damage. See, I've never. I don't even have any armor. Uh, fun small boxes and big boxes. What? Um, what? So I know if we if we take these, we end up with a curse, and I don't. I don't think it's worth. Nah. We're not gonna do it this time. I did it once just for an achievement, but I don't know if these are ever actually worth doing. I mean, sometimes they have really good stuff, but I don't think... I mean, the armor one seems really good, I just don't think it's worth. I've never even had armor to begin with, so I don't really think it's worth taking now. So when we get to the second layer of dungeons, we start dealing with, like, mages and stuff. They can shoot, like, arcane balls at us, so... And they can also heal. So if there's like two of them in the same room, it can get really insane. Oh, so these things are... Uh, Delvamore Dungeon is what uh, this is called. So yeah, all the gold are in these statues now, instead of the rocks. Uh, I hate these little green things. They're so cute, though. <laughs> I love how you just hit them once and they go flying. Get out of here. Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna go to the right room first because there's nothing attached to it, and we have bombs for days. Oh, we need a key. We need a key. Ah, uh, whatever. That's super tragic. Like I said, most of the time the chests don't have uh, locks on them like that. But if we get a key, we can come back to it. Uh, so when those things are lighting up like that, we can't hit them, or it will pull the damage back to us. So we just gotta kinda gotta wait for them to stop. Okay. Kinda wanna take out this little fly that's shooting stuff at me. I hate these things. Oh! Oh wow, and it actually hit me. Ooh, that was a lucky hit too. Almost got me. What's that exclamation mark for? And I don't have keys. Oh, I don't even know what this dude does. He has a bag of bombs and some keys up there. Uh, would it even be worth it? I mean, we have bombs. We don't need that. We need keys. But it costs two keys just to get in there. I don't think that's worth it. God, man. I hate these flaws. Come on. Get hit by the spike. Oh. So the red blobs are like fire? Yep, fiery blue blob. Oh, did I get a curse? Or did that get rid of a curse? I think we just got rid of one, which is awesome. Oh, the red flies uh, shoot like three projectiles at you at once. Those are really annoying. But they're not too hard to dodge, so I don't complain too much about them. Oh, uh, see, here are the mages. The priests, I mean... They can heal themselves. What is this, a druid? Druid? Oh, the knight. The knights are super annoying. I don't even know how to deal with the knights. I don't think you can hit them head on. Oh, he has armor. Footman? Trying not to take too much damage, because so, like I said, health is really hard to come by. So you kind of got to play this like a weenie, unfortunately. Oh, we don't have any keys. I would love to go to the shop. Oh, I don't. Oh, nice. The footman, he just fell down the hole for me. Made my job a whole lot easier. More keys. I would like to go, actually go get a relic. More than anything. <laughs> Everyone's just falling. Alright. I don't actually think I've ever made it to Dungeon 2 on this, on the second set, so this will be the first for me. I know as you go down, things just get harder and harder. We're just going to play this one out until we actually die. Who knows, we might be able to make it to the boss. Might be able to beat the boss. It'll be the first time I've ever seen it. So, it'll be really interesting. Uh, 
Uh, the adventurer um, relic is really helping me out here. What are these things? Okay, nothing. Nothing I have to worry about. Oh, another footman. Oh, he did so much damage. So we gotta take out the priest first because she can heal. And he's getting so many good hits off on me. She is just healing him over and over. Get out of here. Oh, I need to jump more. I always forget about jumping. Oh. Oh. I'm actually playing this pretty well. Alright, I'm starting to get a good idea of how to beat the footmen. Just jump around. For the most part, and they won't be able to hit you. Oh uh, no, we gotta take out the priest first, because you can just heal everyone. Oh no, I just took so much damage. Oh, I'm still taking damage, I'm poisoned. Oh, I need the food. I need the food so bad. I don't know why my pickaxe is on fire. Oh, we don't have any keys either, man. Super tragic. I lost so much health. Oh, wait, we can use my potion, though. Gain some health, anyway. Bomb here, maybe we'll get something good. I'm cursed. Remove a curse. And deal no, we really don't want that. So, wait, I just got two keys. So, what's the move here? So, this meat only gives us 20 health. Okay, so I know I want to go see what the relic is. Just because I've never seen a relic on this. Deal mo even more damage when you crit strike. That doesn't sound like it's bad, but uh, I'll take that. Um, I don't think we want to use our key on that. I, don't, I, just doesn't, I just don't think it's worth it. Yeah, I just don't think that's worth it. Um... See, is the spike going to help me here? The spike is helping me. No point in taking needless damage here. Yep. Yep. Alright, that wasn't too hard. Lower room. I'm trying to get through these rooms as fast as possible just because... Oh, I've never even seen that enemy. I don't know what she can do. Oh, we gotta get you. We you can live. Oh, these rats are making it real hard for me then. Oh, the rats can't can't get past the items. Oh my god. What is with the orb? No, I can't take that out either. Okay. I've never seen the orb. Let's shoot the fireballs. That's super obnoxious. Oh no! Aha, we got you, though. Only a hundred health. We did not do very good. Um, this dungeon. We lost a lot of our health. I think we lost more health in that, in that one dungeon than we have in the whole run. Like I said, this is the best run I've had. I mean, this is the most relics I've ever had in a single run. Most of the time they're locked behind uh, key doors or whatever, but... I've just gotten lucky with the keys this game, for for the most part. Still have one key, so... Oh, let's get out of here. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go up first, just because there's nothing attached to it. There's four orbs in this room, so this is gonna get a little bit crazy. We're gonna get out of here now. <laughs> I wonder if you can blow those up with bombs. That would actually be worth, uh... Oh, there's... Okay, these have to go first. Yeah, you got it. So if you stand close, they kind of don't dash. I'm trying to pick up... Oh, what is that? 86 health? Oh, and I dropped a key. Nice, nice, nice. Think we use this on the store? store have less items still? Or do you shop items? Is it even worth going to the store then? Well, let's go down here and see what this key... So that's to a relic. Oh, there's a lot of spiders. 
At least the spiders are in one hit. Oh, he got me. Oh, I need me again. No, I'm poisoned. Alright, we definitely want to use the key here. What is that? I've never seen that before either. Chance on hit to chain lightning. Wow, that sounds awesome. Bottled lightning? <laughs> this is sick. Like I said, most of these relics I've never even seen before. Oh, the bats. The bats. This might be tough. Okay, let's try to jump over him before it gets bad. Oh, we got another key. Yeah, I guess we do not want to get close to these dudes. Come on. We're just going to go in. There's only one, so I don't feel too threatened. Oh, you can have that one, buddy. I think I just got two gold snatched from me. I think this is the most gold I've ever earned in a run either. I think I started with like 1,800. I'm going to drop a bomb here, see if we can destroy that. Yep, we can. Oh, no. Oh, no. She can heal, so we got to take care of those first. Nope. So the purple things are really valuable. Don't get oh, we got poisoned. We're dead. Oh, that was such a good run, and we're gonna lose so much gold. We lost so much. Oh my god! Now we're about to see all those little things coming and getting them. Ah, that was super bad. How did we get poisoned there? We jumped over the little pot. I guess I should have took out the little druid thing. The cat. Yeah, we lost about 2,000 gold there. Not super bad. But like I said, that was my best run. That was really good. That was really good. We didn't make it to the boss, though. Really wanted to. But like I said, we just lost too much health in that one room when we got down to 100. Didn't need to take all that damage. Keep you guys around. Show you the salt shaker that I wanted. Yep, here we go. Increases the effectiveness of food. I think this was really holding me back. Uh, pepper. Pepper shaker increases the more. We gotta season our food. Never forget to season your food, guys. It really makes a difference. I don't... Do I care to pick up items from a distance? I mean... It seems like a lot. Yeah, we'll take it. I mean, I'm kind of getting tired of things stealing my uh, my gold. We're sold out. Let's go see if we can upgrade any of our items. Uh, a thousand for the pickaxe. This is pretty cheap. We can go ahead and do that for range. Seven fifty. I think we're gonna do the pickaxe. Yeah, that seems like the best go. Swing damage. Alright guys, I think we're going to end it here. That was fun. Like I said, that was my best run ever. If you guys want to see more of this, please let me know down in the comments. Or leave a like. Please do. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed Dungeon Crawler games. I need to play Binding of Isaac at some point, just because I know that's like one of the most popular ones. But yeah, um, like I said, I play this game pretty much just to de-stress from playing COD a lot. It's pretty simple at its base, so you know, if, you're, if you guys enjoy watching this, let me know. I can obviously do way more of these videos just because I enjoy playing this game way more. It's super fun. Ooh. Oh, so when you beat the bosses, they show up here. Okay. That makes sense. We're learning. We're learning. Okay. But yeah. Um, like I said, guys, we're going to end it here. If you like the video, leave a like. If not, you don't have to and please subscribe helps out the channel a lot and we'll see you guys in the next video